today I'm going to present to you the word of the Lord for November 2023. So before I begin, let's start by lighting up a candle. Hallelujah. Sound the shofar and ring the bell so we may advance before the throne of God. And we are going to ask God to bless his message with his Holy Spirit and allow us to understand it, to bless the subscribers and those who will subscribe to his channel and to bless those who will share the message and give the, the Holy Spirit to those who will leave a comment to edify those who will watch the video. So without delay, let us uh, begin with the word of the Lord for November 2023. So November 2023 shall be a month when we will have two influences, the influence of the spirit of bull and the influence of the spirit of Kislev. But before we enter the details, let us go to present to you the days of prayer for the month of November coming. We will have 10 days of prayer and uh, and uh, one thing you can realize that <clears throat> in the calendar of God you will see the number 17 appear a couple times. November 1st, you know, shall be and uh, or will be uh, a the 17th day of bull bull 17 and the 30th day of november november the 30th will be uh is the 17th day of kislev so something to keep in mind and uh, let us go straight with the days of prayer so you will have 10 days of prayer so a uh, the first a november first will not be a day of prayer so we will have the first day of prayer on november 4th november 5th november 8th november 11th i will put that in the uh, uh, the websites for you lghpr.org and after november 11th you will have uh, uh, the next day of prayer will be November 14, November, or oh, actually you will have November 13, November 14, November 17, November 20, and November 25th. So, uh, and also you will have uh, as uh, a prescribed offering, you will have the wave offering until you have the end of the month of bull by November 13. The wave of offering will be in play. And after that, you will have the, the vow offering because Kislev is the month of the vow, the vow offering. And it's so fitting that uh, last week I talked to you about the vow. So you will enter the vow offering in uh, practically in November 14. Amen. And I will tell you what to do on November 14. And also because of in the USA, this is when people are celebrating Thanksgiving. And so a, 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 the Jesus Thanksgiving offering will be in play you know and uh, you know we should always give thanks and in hebrew they call it korban toda and uh, and that lord jesus house of prayer the correct translation is yahush shua korban toda in hebrew so 
Let us go back here so I can show you something. Next week coming, <coughs> you will enter. You will enter on November 1st on the 17th day of bull, the, the November 1st. But there is something that you should be aware of. So the whole week practically, or, the, or we could say the rest of the month of bull that will fall in November will be influenced by the spirit of Je Jeroboam and the spirit of Saul. So you know those two kings, those two kings, they ended up practically acting evil before the Lord and caused the country of Israel to end up uh, being under curse. So next week coming, we must be very careful because the spirit of Jeroboam, Je, the, the spirit of Jeroboam, I, I must explain that to you. It's a false spirit that will cause you to believe that you are something bigger practically than God. And we see Jeroboam go against the statutes of God. And then they dub, a, 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 you know, building shrines, you know, and, and cause the people of Israel to fall into idolatry. And this is what we see. The spirit of Jeroboam is at play. And this is right here in America. They're celebrating Halloween. So, and Halloween is like pagan practically worship. And we see people, this is the season, you know, and uh, at the end of October, entering in, in, in the first days of uh, November, we see people worshiping Halloween. And that means this is a devilish spirit. And also in the United States, this is the time when we see we have a, a new speaker of the house. So we are going to be watchful of the news throughout the month of November because what we see here, uh, especially in the US, and, and they have the new speaker of the house, we are going to be watchful. And this is when people at the top People in charge of government ended up doing a crazy things, coming with a crazy laws and and do things that will not advantageous. Hallelujah. For the people that are under them. So we see jo Je the spirit of Jeroboam. This is when we see <coughs> the government, a king, practically take over the church. And say, you know, God said we should worship in the seventh month. I say you should worship in the eighth month. And he turned around, you know, ended up doing crazy things, coming up again with golden calf and having people doing crazy stuff. And we see also Saul. And, and you know, this is, we see, this is another king. So be watchful throughout the month of November to see to see leaders of countries deciding and do crazy things. And right now we see we have two wars going on. And a war uh, with Hamas and Israel. So we know Hamas ended up doing terrorist attack to Israel. But now Israel must be very careful for the victim not to become the victimizer. Now we see a, a shift going on in the attitude out there. And now they are blaming the reaction of the people of Israel, you know, and they are, they are saying they are the one doing the victimizing or, or practically abusing over there now in Gaza. So this is something 
that influence will go throughout the month of November and this tour will be going on and we see other countries totally itching to enter the fight and that could develop in something very 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 sinister uh, and we will see the onset of it practically in the month of November. And we know the month of November in the Gregorian calendar and this is the month before the end of the year in the Gregorian calendar and this is usually the setup when the devil is out there collecting. Collecting. Yeah, that means doing killings. You know, we see a lot of people that probably watching the video, they will not be alive by this time next year. You know, some of them may end up being dead and will not even see 2024. So, the next 60 days, it is a time for you to be careful. You cannot take chance and the devil will be out there for blood. And the signal and the colors for practically the year 24 coming is red. Red will be very predominant. That means, the, and we already say unto you that 2024 will be a year of blood. And that will be, you know, practically the setup for us to be careful because a lot of evil thing may happen but precisely i must say to you be careful you know by next week because you will have a lot of foul spirit in the atmosphere and you remember before a, 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 a practically the month of etanim the seventh month you have a lot of angels around preparing the way now it will be the reverse it will be the reverse you will see, you know, the devil at play, collecting soul, killing people, causing people to do bad things. And by the time you enter December, you know, everybody, you know, the anxiety, the way people will be out there trying to make money and they may end up doing evil. So, like I said to you, you will have two influences. Uh, the influence of the spirit of bull and the influence of the spirit of Kislev. But let me show you something that you must do when on the first day of Kislev. The first day of Kislev will fall on November 14. Practically, you will enter the month of the vow, the month when you should be toward yourself to the Lord. So, on November 14, guess what you are going to do? I'm going to tell you to do something extraordinary. And let me tell you uh, about November 14 before I talk to you about November 17. On November 14, hallelujah, you are going, you know, if you can, wake up at midnight. Renew your vow to God on November. But put this thing down. Put this thing down. Put it in your calendar on November 14. Now, you know, I will put it on the website so you may be aware of what's going on. On November 14, if you can wake up at midnight, light up your candle, you know, do a little ceremony for yourself and for the family and renew your vow to God. Said, God, this is the day of the vow, the month of the vow, you know, and guess what? You just, you know, renew your vow to God. And if you have your wife with you, renew, renew your vow to your spouse, you know, for, for another year of fidelity, of righteousness, you, you have a, if you have a, a marriage in trouble, you know, you are out there cheating, you are out there uh, doing evil, you know, and God is calling you, renew your vow, renew your vow to him, 
And you cannot be found in that same filthiness on November 14. Sleeping around, you know, doing crazy things. Acting out of order before your God. You know, and that will be a wash Kodesh. And that will be the day of the changing of the gods. You know, in the, the spirit of Kislev will enter. Uh, you know, but uh, I forget to talk to you about November, no, November 13 also. It's, a, it's an important day. This is when God pronounced his plan of prosperity. I will be preaching abo about that, eh, eh, about November eh, 13. But this is when God pronounced his plan of prosperity for mankind. You know, so the eh, 13, 14, be careful, okay? Yeah, and uh, be in an attitude of prayer. And, uh, and then in November 14, it's, it's practically ground zero. You are going to go before your God. And, 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 you know, mark things down, mark things down. Like I said, you know, this is the day of the vow. You know, commit yourself to your God. Said God, this is what I, you know, I renew my vow. This is where I want to go with, with this relationship. You know, that God thing, it's a relationship. You go out, you, you guys out there, you're so crazy in mankind's relationship that will not give you anything but headache you know concentrate and renew your vow to god and said god i love you because god said i will be toward you in love and in faithfulness in righteousness and justice love and faithfulness on november 14 you cannot come before God with the stench of infidelity. With the stench of ungratefulness. With the stench of sin on you on November 14. And that will cause you to enter curses. This is how you see people break out with sores, break out with cancer, break out because you, you think you can hide crap. You can have the devil as your partner and the devil want to kill you. There is nothing good. And then you will enter Kislev, a, a, the fourth day of Kislev, November 17. When, when Zechariah received a beautiful revelation, you know, a, for us, you know, and, uh, and uh, guess what, my brothers, my sisters, I will be preaching about November 17, because I want you to be aware of November 14, uh, November 13, November 14, and November 17. Uh, my brothers, my sisters, and uh, uh, and uh, Kislev for don't worry about that. I want you to on the first day of Kislev, you know, to be on your knee, on your knees, because by the fourteen, this is a, a time of alignment and realignment, a time of harmony with the Lord, and a time to dream again with God. God, I love you. God, I will do this for you. Oh, do that for me. You know, intense love. A, 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 this is, a, 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 you will enter the time of divine dependence. You know, you will enter the time of divine dependence where you are going to say to God, a, a, you know, I depend on you. And if your, if your temple is already broken down, because, you know, People said, I am only before you on the seventh month, and by the eighth month, you are with the devil again. If your building, if your temple is already broken down in sin, in filthiness, this is the time when you are in your, your vow and your covenant, and you must tell God, you know, I recommit myself, I will rebuild your temple, because you are the temple of God. Okay, so you may enter what? 
harmony and realignment with your God in order for you to receive his blessing. Amen. So my brothers, my sisters, let me give you something and uh, and you will finish the month of November in that great note of thanksgiving and and uh, and with your God and uh, remember by the time you enter a, 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 uh, November 14 you know if you can while you're doing your vow do like J Jacob and say to God I will give I will always give you this for you to give me that because God said you pay your vow and in the time of trouble uh, you know I will deliver you you know this is you must make a vow every year you must make a vow of deliverance deliver me here god and i will do this for you amen and amen so my brothers my sisters the promise of the lord is to bless you with his plan of prosperity is to bless you with the dreams that you have for yourself but guess what the month of November will offer you the opportunity to evaluate yourself and not to be like uh, Jeroboam and uh, but and not to be also like Saul and uh, not to believe in your own Kool-Aid and not to be your own God like Jeroboam did but you will be in submission totally to God in order for you to inherit the blessing of the Lord. So my brothers, my sisters, November, you know, the beginning of November, the, a lot of false spirit will be in the atmosphere. So be careful not to becoming the host of this false spirit that will guide you like zombies and cause you to do crazy things. You know, but you know capture yourself recover yourself and know that you are the child of god and you have power over all the force of the enemy and on november 14 renew your vow before the lord and if you do all these things you will see yourself finishing the month of november in the good will in the good will of your god i say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.